Good morning, YouTube. Friends and family, um, let's see. Today, I'm gonna give you an idea of what kind of a garage we're working with here. We built this thing about two years ago. We come out here and the garage is there. So we've got two nine foot doors in the front, little porch. I built it to try to resemble the house we have here now. Anyway, come through right chill and then you're into the garage. Got the two front doors, side window. There's the cabinets I built last winter. Air compressors under there. Steps upstairs to storage. So my camera ran out of juice the other day when I was working in here and I didn't realize it. So I can show you what we were doing is putting in this bridging on both sides. And the theory is with this blocking across here like this, that as this truss gets stressed, the block's gonna ask this truss to help. And it's gonna ask this truss to help. And as this one stresses, it's gonna ask this one and this one to help. And right on that line, so it's kind of, Works like an egg crate, I guess. Um, instead of each individual truss doing its job alone, it becomes, it's all working together now as one piece. And um, according to the engineer, I didn't need to do that. And uh, he's, I'm sure he's right, but I just feel better knowing that it's bridged. So, next is this. This got to go up in there. So that's what I'm gonna start today, is insulating this thing, because uh, sometime next week I got barn tin coming that we're gonna go over the roof with, and that's what we're gonna use for the ceiling in here. And um, then we're gonna put a mini split up here, so we have heat and air conditioning. So that's where we are right now. Anyway, um, I better get busy, huh? I got a lot to do. Not much time to do it. So let me get set up and I'll get back with you. Here we go, a job that nobody likes to do. All right, this took a second for me to get uh, some rhythm. <laughs> so I got a clamp and a piece of one by to hold the center of that insulation up while I get some staples in it. Then I had to find just the right pressure in the tank because it shoot the staples right through the paper. So uh, I think I know what I'm doing now. It's going to be easier to uh, fill in the ends than it would be against the bridge and that's why I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull all my insulation to the bridge and, and uh, after I get about probably going to get down this one side then I'll go ahead and I got some uh, six mil poly and then we're going to cut poly and stretch it across the ceiling because the tin that I'm putting up on the ceiling is not going to be airtight like it would be with uh, if you were drywalling it or something like that. I mean, there'd be cracks and all in it. So uh, hopefully that will reduce any 
wind trying to come through it or whatever, but um, yeah. Gotta get creative, huh? Got the plastic up on that side. That was a fiasco, one-handed, but Lisa really has a problem with insulation. You see that? So that's what I'm counting on to keep the breeze from coming through my tin. But Lisa really has a tough time with insulation, so I don't like to put her anywhere near it. And I got I had to turn the radio down. Lord knows I don't want no copyright infringements. Insulation is a miserable job. It's so necessary. This is this is the future asbestos, trust me. Santa Claus came through a fire truck last night. I tried to, I should try to put a piece of that video up. But, oh my God, my little granddaughter was so excited. She was in the bathtub. Rosie, oh my God, we hear Santa Claus coming on the fire truck. Out of the bathtub, put on underwear, soaking wet, hair soaking wet, wrapped up in a uh, blanket outside with her daddy at the, at the end of the driveway. <laughs> To see Santa Claus, she was so excited. I love that stuff, man. So excited. Oh. I still remember being a little boy and believing in Santa Claus. And, uh, what a magic time, huh? What a magic, magic, magical time. Um, and I, I sure. I sure feel blessed to get to watch that through my grandchildren and all again. It's like being a daddy all over again, a young daddy all over again. Um, but I don't have to correct nobody. I just spoil them. Because we all live here in the Walton house, you know that. Oh, my blood and babies. Still miss my fuck buck too, trust me. Okay, I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to finish up this bit of insulation. You don't need to keep watching this because it's boring. And uh, then I'm going to drop that garage door track and I'm going to pull my plastic over and I'm hoping it makes it at least to this bridging here. And I uh, will get that pulled tight and uh, tack down. So as soon as I get that in, when I start pulling the plastic, I'll turn this thing back on.
a lot of effort, but it'll be way worth it in the future, trust me. Wow, cold, it's cold out here, and it eats up the battery quick. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, let's check it out. I got two thirds of it done. So, um, you don't typically have to put plastic up like this, this six mil poly. Um, but when you see my ceiling, my choice of ceilings, then it'll make sense. So, um, I gotta get, Overhanging above the cabinets, uh, and I got to pull a number uh, 10 outside for the um, HVAC unit and catch this side over here, and that part will be done. So, when the metal gets here, it will be ready to install. So, it's gonna be pretty cool, it's gonna be nice and toasty in here. Obviously, we uh, insulated all the outside walls. Um, before I put the T111 up, and a lot of people say, "Oh, don't put your T111 up." That's goodness gracious! It's a it's a sawdust magnet. But this is this is very smooth, super duper smooth. So it's not like the rough sawn stuff. This is uh this is pressed in to um to the particle board kind of a uh, sheathing. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem with that attracting sawdust. Anyway, I've run my race for this day. I am exhausted. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Gotta finish this up. Thanks. Good morning, YouTube. Sunday morning and we gotta go to work. We gotta get out of the garage and finish that ceiling so it is ready uh, to cover when the tin gets here. But first, I get a wah wah. I'm gonna have my sidekick with me this morning. She's watching the grandbabies there at the grocery store. So I'm gonna get me and her a coffee. And I'm gonna go back and get to work. Probably I'll tie my shoes first before I go in there so I don't trip and spill everything all over the place. So I guess first thing we're gonna do is uh, run that power wire for the new um, mini split. I haven't done yet. I should have, but I haven't. So, all right, let's get some coffee and let's get to work. Our first tour this morning is going to be we're going to have to take these lights down. I just put them up temporary after I built the garage. And you can see the pipe up there. That goes to my panel box down here. So, we're going to drop a piece of number 10, pull it over here. down inside the wall and go across the top of these cabinets so we'll go outside uh, with the free iron lines from the mini split one hole in the wall and then insulate got me a fan box there too all right let me get this place tidied up and get ready to do something okay let's see we got, we got number 10. It's the orange one, the yellow one. It's gonna be a 20 amp circuit. Cause I'm gonna put a couple plugs upstairs. So we got this 20 amp and it comes on down, takes a dip, goes in through here, around. And into here. So we'll put a junction box there and then we're gonna cut a hole in the back side of this wall. So this this piece of wall right here 
is where the mini split will go. So when we come through the wall with the condensate and the freon lines for the mini split will be in this corner over here. And then we'll drill a hole there, take the lines, set them down and bolt them to the top of that cabinet right on up the wall so nobody will see them. And we'll take the same route with the number 10 wire. So I got the insulation up, got that done, insulation up in this part. I'll go ahead and cut some plastic, put up there, call that done. I had to put a nailer in the corner. And then we'll jump over here, got the lights down and uh, my circuits ran. So we'll jump on this side and get this done. I'll be glad when this is done. This, this ain't the fun part, trust me. <laughs> it's not the fun part. If you got a job to do, do it well. Good morning, morning has broken. I gave it up yesterday evening, I was, my, I run out of gas. My get up and go had gone up and went. <clears throat> Got a little cold coming on too, I can tell. Anyway, this morning we're gonna, uh, we're gonna tuck this in, get this ready. Got a piece missing down there. Then we're gonna finish up this corner over here. And then I'm gonna try to clean this place up. And, uh, get ready for my delivery of 10. So let's keep going with that. First part of the first part done. We're all sealed up at the garage doors over at the steps and I got some a four piece of insulation left so I think what I'm gonna do that is the outside wall of this garage I think what I'm gonna do is clean these shelves off and go ahead and use that insulation up in there can't hurt nothing and I sure don't want to save it so let me get busy with that Got my closet a whole tour all the pieces. But this is a good place. I got a few more pieces of scrap that I'm gonna burn up in there. So I got behind the compressor. It sure would have been a lot easier if I had done this before I put this compressor in place. But so I'm gonna burn up the rest of it on this little bit of wall here and waste not, won't not. My shop ceiling is on the floor. Needs to go up there. We started this yesterday fighting a cold, uh, so I didn't get far, but you kind of see the look we're, we're going for.